This is for Greta Thunberg. And uh, I said I would come back in and give you more information about the drugs and the containers. Um, uh, as I say, I know that you think that uh, what you've got is something that you can run with. Um, but uh, at the back of everything are the inks and the corn gloms. And they think they're running this world. But at the back of them are the drug bands. So let me just tell you about what's happening just now. With the containers, they're going here, there and everywhere, etc. It's going to be a new world. It's going to be a different way. And there's, we, you know, parcels that we got during the war. Um, oranges. Um, and the, you know, from South Africa. Um, and the fruit and uh, sugared almonds. Um, and from Canada, apples. And the, from Australia, New Zealand, the tins of stew. Um, and the, we wouldn't have survived unless that had that had been. Um, but uh, as I say, things are going to be different because one thing will answer another, and that means the lanolin. If the big pharma, they make money with that, and the palm oil, etc. But there's no necess there's no necessity because in New Zealand and Australia, they can. Uh, deal with the lanolin which is a natural product okay um and they also the stuff that they pack and go away you get that free all the poor that need food etc it'll be a different different world different way as i say we've only got the one year so let me tell you about the containers so and the fact don't worry about the global warming and the uh, fossil fuels and etc but concentrate on, on this one. Now, there's a problem with the uh, containers. And uh, it's the same here. And there's no drivers, etc., etc. Um, so when a container comes in, they're all piled up in America to the one side and uh, out at sea. And normally when they came in, the charge would be 1,200 or so, you know. But in actual fact, today, it's costing 14000 Uh They've got nobody to get it in, and they've got nobody to empty it, you know, after that. Um, and uh, the, the, um, the, the, the tariffs, etc., um, are prohibited. Now, this container came in, and there was something not kosher about the arrangements, you know, there's a, we've got so many to deal with, they're doing it as best they can, boom -ba boom this one, something wasn't just right, so they thought, you know, oh, we've got to go and check, and then because of uh, the the problem with containers and people dying inside them, um, they had to open up, so when they x-rayed it, um, um, and then they opened it up, absolutely drugs and it's all to go to Sweden so I, I wanted to, to tell you that because that's that is important you know um just when you think that maybe you're going to get somewhere so you still need adults you still need our help um and the identifying all the ones that are just criminals because I I'll tackle them and as I say the the, the people that have and good money, etc. Donate, donate. So the money will be there for you. So the other good news that I got was, yeah, I'm only a pensioner, but I know that uh, we've been ethnically cleansed as well um, by our bodice. Um, and uh, we've got no more time before the cross. We've only got a year as well, but we want to hit the road running and, and get moving because we want to own our own things in a land with whiskey and everything else. We don't even own porridge. And yet Sweden is developing uh, pictures for China. And they've outdone Quaker in America that own all the porridge that we eat. And uh, it's a nightmare. 
plus the fact that uh, today was Edinburgh. Um, I had to double take and get back in and listen to what he was saying. So what he was saying more or less is that he thinks more of the animals than he does about us. And that there's so many of us and to feed us and excuse me but in Scotland we've got special seeds and they're special to, to Scotland and that means that you can't kill the gulls once they're sitting on the nest so that that means that um, there's very little left for us here we're the endangered species so um, I'm trying to get through to him because he, he means well. As far as I can see, His Royal Highness Prince Charles, he's, he's, he's a wonderful guy and so was his dad and so is Her Majesty and they've got no way of voting her. They've got no way to come back at people when they start on up at them and they've got the terror of thinking of what if everything happens and <clears throat> we're, we're put out. Um, when you kill a king or a queen regicide, the reverberations of uh, what happens war after war after war. Um, whereas when the uh, Russia was say uh, um, overrun by the revolution, and they killed um, the Tsar and all this family, well, they were relatives of Queen Victoria, and they did right. They wanted to come here to Great Britain. Um, but in the end, it was King who had to really try to write and say to him um, that they, it was very difficult. Well, the very fact that they were killed in the way that they were, that's absolutely disgraceful. But when they found where the bodies were, they had to come to the royal family here to get the genetics to test. And yes, it was the the royal family and the and the peasants they weren't the upset it was the proletariat and it was all about money greed greed and money so thereby hangs a tail um so her majesty had said that she she wants statesmen there's many many politicians she wants us to leave the politics aside and concentrate on trying to be good States people, states men and states women. And we've all we got here, okay? Thanks, Greta. Thanks.